There you have it. The school day has begun at Oviedo High School. There's the superintendent there in the middle, and uh, she is joined by some members of the Seminole County School Board. High school, of course, hitting a very big milestone this year in Oviedo. Yeah, you ring the bell like that when you've got 100 years in the community, and Oviedo has that. And David Martin is out there from Oviedo High School this morning, home of the Lions. And David, big day for them, and it looks like you're inside now. Inside with the AC in what could be maybe a college campus, an airport. I don't know. It's beautiful in here. It's called the Commons, and it's where the kids eat. Let me tell you something, Ryan. When we were in high school, and this guy can attest, nothing like this. His name is Jamie DeVivo. He is the director of Red Apple Dining. That means he's in charge of all the school eating programs for the Seminole County School District. My friend, how are you? Great. Good to see you today. So you and I are sitting in a giant new cafeteria that you yes. call the Commons. Yes. And uh, it's got a food court vibe because it is a food court. That's right. All right, so let's pan our camera left to the first option that Oviedo High School students have. What is this called? Yes, yeah, so we feature five uh, micro restaurants in our uh, renovation project at the Commons. Uh, the first one's Filtered, uh, so that's our partnership with uh, Barney's, who's a local uh, some, uh, local uh, Central Florida vendor, uh, and we feature their cold brew, we feature their beans. Jamie, I saw high school students getting coffee here this morning. That's right. It's the same. When you and I were in high school, we didn't even know what coffee was. That All is right, true. Next over there, we have chicken. It's called The Roost. The Roost, yes. We feature our antibiotic-free, whole muscle, all-white meat chicken uh, featuring boneless wings, chicken tenders. We have a chicken sandwich, a spicy chicken sandwich, uh, unlimited fresh fruits and vegetables, side salad, milk. Uh, at the Roost, yes. Wow, and next to that, I love the name of this, Pie yes, Pizzeria. Yes, Pie 314. It's a nice little play on the education uh, piece there yeah. uh, that features our uh, custom uh, crust uh, that we've manufactured uh, with Tobitos, Vinny Tobito from uh, Kitchen Boss fame. Wow. Uh, we make a whole grain crust, uh, protein fortified, and then we make our shred our own cheese, vine ripened tomato sauce. Uh, we do cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza. We make our own buffalo chicken pizza, which I'd put up against anybody. <laughs> uh, marinate the chicken, cheese blend. All made in less than two minutes, right in front of the guests as they're as they're ordering their food. The guests, you yes. call them. Oh, the yes. guests, Jamie and Ryan. The guests. In and our, then, in yeah. our campus restaurants. Yeah, you got a guest in your campus restaurant. This is Yin Yang, the Asian cuisine. What do you have there? Yes, Yin Yang, and we also have big ziti and pie as well too. Uh. Uh, Yin Yang, we feature our uh, our Asian meals there. So we have uh, fried rice, fresh broccoli, uh, feature orange chicken, uh, teriyaki chicken, and we'll rotate those through, uh, throughout the year. Again, all of the meals all come with. Uh, you can get a side salad and limited fresh fruits and vegetables and milk. Wow. And yes. finally, our Mexican friends representing here. Yes, Mixology. So uh, I'm sure we all have our favorite uh, place that we go to get our nice yes. burrito bowl. Yes. Well, this is where you get it in Seminole County. So uh, we have Mixology. The guest comes up. They get a fresh cilantro lime rice that they're actually making in the back right now. Real cilantro, fresh lime juice, <laughs> uh, fajita vegetables, uh, fajita chicken, fajita beef. So the kids pay for all this, right? Corn relish, fresh pico de gallo. Yes. So we utilize the National School Lunch Program just like all the other districts do. Uh, so we have the meal benefits, which I would encourage uh, any guest in need to make sure that they are uh, filling out that application for. Uh, so if they qualify for free meals, all this can be available for free for breakfast and lunch. Uh, if they qualify for reduced meals, they can get uh, breakfast for free as a reduced price uh, and then lunch at 40 cents. And then um, lunch for our paid guest is three seventy five, and breakfast what is two seventy five. What a bargain! What a deal! And what a show you have! You're brand new for the new school year. Yes, it's gorgeous. It seats nine hundred and fifty four people. Yes, and uh, twice you're going to be day. busy twice a day, right? Because right. you've got twenty five hundred kids for lunch. Brunch. We do breakfast as well. Yes, fine, and breakfast. Yes. What? We had rectangle pizzas, maybe cheese. I don't know what it was Cheese like. It. Yeah, right. And green beans, I think, yes. and chocolate milk. That's all were, I had. But they weren't green. <laughs> they were gray beans. We have we have green broccoli. <laughs> all right, Amy and Ryan, so maybe we can come down, come down for lunch at Oviedo High School one day. I'm so jealous. Right. I had the rectangular pizza, too. This Nothing like sick, that. Right? And these same, yeah. All these same foods, except for filtered, are actually featured at all of our secondary schools. So they're just not available. Some of the items are available daily. Some uh, of yeah. them are on a cycle basis. Got it. Uh, but it's, not, it's not exclusive just to Oviedo or well, to Lake Good for Grandma. you, man. That's Red Apple Dining for you. Quality operation. We'll send it back to you. That's great. We yeah, came I love that. through the school system at the wrong time. We did. I love what he said about the green beans. They weren't actually green. They were more of like a gray color. Exactly. Remember? <laughs> They've been sitting in that can so long. All right. Well, the state report cards for Central Florida schools are not uh, ones that you need to hide from mom because all public school districts passed this year. There were some shifts in some of the grades. Brevard, Flagler, and Orange Counties all slipped down to a 
B. Seminole County was the only one in this area to score an A. The grades give districts a snapshot of where the students are academically. That's so a big deal for those yes, districts. Congrats is. to Seminole as well. well at the